Now this uh, video is a fix for the virtual box. So if you did the last, um, you watched the last video and you put our bootloader in there, you can actually start rebooting and exiting all that. But we cannot do it on virtual box. We need to do something first before we can um, be safe. And it must be also easy and efficient to work in, on virtual box. And that's why this is in here. So. What do we need to do to have a functional uh, system where you can shut down your virtual box and then reboot and have Arch Linux again? We should have a look at the boot. Inside boot, you have EFI, like so, and let's go inside. So we have here a folder called Arch. What we should do is make the directory boot as well and copy what's inside arch that one and boot it uh, copy it actually and rename it to boot and boot x64.efi if you do this it will be much easier to reboot again from um, from virtualbox so no need to do this on your arch linux installation on ssd or hard disk but this is an easy fix and a quicker fix to reboot later on on VirtualBox. So do that. What you get, you get a folder called boot. And what you have in here, the same thing as group x64, but renamed to boot x64 EFI. And that's all there is to do. And we can now uh, continue with our ArchWiki.